episode is brought to you by FlipsideGaming.com and their Richard Kane Ferguson exclusive playmats. You can use the discount code GOLDFISH, all in caps, to get 10% off your purchase and help support the show. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Goldfish Gladiators. So this week, we are heading into a quick constructed with a deck that I'm really excited for. This is Mono White Angels, and it's got a lot of mythics, and it's got a lot of rares, but it is basically just the best white cards in the format, along with some treasure maps and cards, because you gotta draw cards. You can't not draw cards, but basically just really powerful white cards, and the goal of this deck is really straightforward. We are looking to just play something insanely powerful, starting on turn two, up to turn five, and then hopefully a few turns after that as well, and just trust that the raw power of our angels is going to be enough to take down the game. So, a quick reminder before we break down Mono White Angels for Standard. If you enjoy this deck, and you enjoy Goldfish Gladiators in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So, Mono White Angels is sort of like Angel Tribal mono white midrange i don't even know but the key card here is lyra dawnbringer so lyra dawnbringer is basically a legendary baneslayer angel however it has the often forgotten angel lord tax pumping our other angels and giving them lifelink and until M19 came around, this tax just wasn't all that relevant because we didn't really have that many angels, and the angels we did have were really expensive, so you couldn't really play an angel tribal deck. We did have Shalai Voice of Plenty, which is a good angel, but you can't really play tribal with just all four and five and six mana plays. So the big deal is, now with M19, we now only have Lyra, and then Shalai, which works really well with Lyra, it protects Lyra, Lyra pumps Shalai, it protects all of our other stuff as well but we have a massive new addition in Resplenda Angel so now we actually have a pretty strong angel curve. We can start off on turn 3 with Resplenda Angel turn 4 we play Shalai to protect our Resplenda Angel and then turn 5 Lyra comes down if we attack with Resplenda Angel and Shalai we are going to have lifelink thanks to Lyra and we're going to get that massive 4-4 four, four angel token with flying and vigilance from Resplenda Angel the other nice thing about Resplenda Angel Angel is it's really insane on its own. Sometimes it just dies, but if we get to the late game and have Resplendent Angel, just attacking, spending six mana to pump it, hitting for five with lifelink, and then making a four four, it is absolutely insane. And we can do all kinds of sweet tricks. Like if we somehow have Lyra down before Resplendent Angel, because our curve's kind of working backwards, we can just like attack with Lyra, gain five life, post combat, play Resplendent Angel, go to Ryan's step, immediately get that four four angel. And when we get a four four angel off Resplendent Angel. It is so powerful, and that's not even including the Angel synergies. Like, the Angel's gonna be pumped by Lyra and have lifelink from Lyra and protected by Shalai. So, adding Resplendent Angel to the mix really pushes Angels just over the top in terms of power level. We also have one more additional Angel. Angel of Sanctions, just nice on the top end of the curve. Gives us an on tri body that also works like a removal spell. If it dies, we can embalm it, although Shalai helps protect it. So, just a good one of Angel. Would like to play more of them, but you can only play so many five mana angels in your deck before your curve gets really clunky. So that's kind of the angel plan. The weird part of the deck is we don't really have early drop angels. That's just not a thing that exists. Like two mana angels, not even many three mana angels outside of Resplendent Angel. So we're honestly like angels and also like hybrid knight tribal. So History of Benalia is another just really powerful magic card. You make two 2-2 two, two knights with vigilance over the course of two turns and you pump them and get a big hit of damage. So it's just a very good rate for its mana cost. And it just so happens that a lot of the other best early game white cards just happen to be in the knight tribe. So we're kind of like halfway angels halfway knights. In the early game, we're knights, then we transition to angels. Knight of Grace, just a really good early drop, even though we can't pump it very regularly since we don't have any black spells. Even just a 2-2 with first strike blocks a lot of the early game creatures, doesn't die to Fatal Push and Veraska's Contempt and some of the popular removal in the format. And then Benelish Marshall, just like a lord for everything, plus it also happens to be a knight. So sometimes we just get draws where we play an Angel of Grace on turn two, play a History of Benali on turn three, turn four, 
more, maybe we play a Benelich Marshal, then the next turn, History Benelli goes ultimate, all of a sudden we have this massive board of knights that are just hitting for insane amounts of damage, so we can get these random early game knight kills too, and if that plan doesn't work out, then we just take over in the late game with our angels. The last package of the deck is kind of like our card advantage package, so for this we have Treasure Map and Karn Sion of Urza, so Treasure Map just comes down in the early game, does some scrying, if we need lands, we find them, if we need angels, we find them, eventually flips and draws us more cards, and it works pretty well with Karn, not just because it's an artifact, but because when it flips it gives us three artifacts, so Karn plus Treasure Map flip means we negative Karn and we immediately make a 4-4, four four. and a 4-4 four four for 4, it's not insane, but when you can untap and do it again the next turn, and then have two 5-5s five for 4 mana, and still have a Karn to start taking up and down to gain card advantage, that's pretty good on its own, but mostly these cards are just to draw us cards, keep us churning through our deck. There's a risk with our powerful angels and powerful knights that if we run into a controlling deck that has some wrath and lots of removal, without treasure maps and Karn, our opponent could theoretically just like, okay, Veraska's Contempt Your Angel, a Fatal Push Your Knight, Veraska's Contempt Your Angel, maybe throw a Sweeper into the mix, and then all of a sudden we're out of cards when our opponent has a Teferi or something to keep drawing cards. So this allows us to keep up in those kind of grindy mid-range and control matchups. Otherwise, for removal, really straightforward. Two seal ways, two cast outs, not a ton of removal because in theory, having Lyra's and Shalai's and these really massive, huge life-linking creatures means we don't really got to worry that much about our opponent's creatures. We just dwarf them with our massive life-linking angels, so we don't really got to kill them outright. In the mana base, we get 18 planes, some Shefet Dunes, Scavenger Grounds, pumping our team with Shefet Dunes, not super exciting, but it is nice to have additional lands to sack to Scavenger Grounds if we run into like God Pharaoh's Gift or Scarab God decks, and sometimes pumping is relevant as well. And that is Mono White Angels for Standard, and that is our Goldfish Gladiator deck for this week. So, I'm really excited. I've been wanting to play Angel Tribal ever since we got Resplendent Angel, and even though we're kind of like hybrid knights and angels, this deck just has so many really powerful cards. So, I'm excited to see how the theory of just like every single turn, playing something really powerful, crossing our fingers, hoping it works out, excited to see how that actually works on Magic Arena in M19 Standard, because I feel like we all got a lot of good stuff, and the deck looks, on paper at least, like it could be really, really powerful. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get to the gameplay so you can see how the deck works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. All right. Goldfish Gladiator time. We are playing some Mono White Angels on MTG Arena. And let's see how this goes. We have lots of powerful cards. That is the upside of our deck. We're playing a quick constructed, by the way. And, all right. I mean, nothing until three, but after we get to turn three. Huh? Blue and Bomb Hat Courier. Okay. Uh, on second thought, this might be bad. We have nothing until turn three, and our opponent just led on Bomb Hat Courier out of the play. Okay. I mean, we got lots of power after turn three. Wow. Navigator's Compass. Constructed All-Star Navigator's Compass. Opponent gets it. Down to 18. And passes. Still nothing until 3. Well, planes go. Well, next turn, we get to start playing magic cards. We'll see how it goes. Inventor's Fair. Aviation Pioneer. Yep. Opponent gets in. Card under Bomb at Courier, which is becoming an issue. Down to 17. And passes. Well, play the planes. Play History of Benalia. Let's see if our more powerful cards can catch us back up, even with this Bomb at Courier doing its thing. Bonet gains a life. Another island. Gurupurori. Interesting choice. Playing extra lands is not bad for us. Looks like our opponent's going to crack this Bomat Courier. Well, we will block. Make our opponent sack. Yep. Makes a land of Mount and sacks Bomb at Courier. That is an interesting way to sack a Bomb at Courier. Opponent passes. We make a Knight. Well, play a land. Play a land. Play a Lyra. Go attacking. Opponent gains a life. They got a lot of cards in hand. We would really like to draw a land so we can double three drop next turn. Although, even just Resplendent ma Angel make a 4-4 four four is a pretty big swing. Wow. Opponent's going to spend their turn sacking Inventor's Fair. 
Okay. Planner Bridge, sure. Plays an island. Plays an island. Plays a Bomat Courier. Knight of Grace. Well, pump our stuff. Go attacking. Opponent blocks. Play Knight of Grace. Play Resplendent Angel. Make a 4-4, four, four, and our opponent's gonna need something very good here. All right, land, land, planner bridge. The spice is real, but I don't think our opponent's gonna have time to deploy the spli uh, spice. Benelish Marshall, attack with everything. And that's a pretty threatening board. Opponent blocks, and blocks. And opponent, they are dead. Well, opponent's deck was sweet-ish, but angels, just too, too strong. Too strong. All right, on to round number two, opponent. All right, we're on the play, and we'll keep this. I mean, we hopefully will draw lands, but look at this curve of powerful white cards. Planes, go. Island for our opponent. Well, planes, go. All right, Pony has an Omen Speaker. So probably playing Wizards of some type. Uh, we were kind of hoping for a land, but I guess we'll settle for History of Benalia. Pass the turn. Drowned Catacombs. And a Siphoner, all right. Uh, not a land. Well, History of Benalia. History of Benalia. No attacks, just keep making Knights. Knights, Knights, Knights. Opponent draws. I don't know what our opponent's playing, actually. Some sort of Grixis deck. I know we would like to draw lands eventually. Island. Opponent. All right, there's Nicole Bolas. Uh, so we'll just discard Angel of Sanctions. Interesting. All right. I mean, we are going to kill your Glint Sleeve. Yeah, opponent hits us. Make a knight, pump our knights. Play Benelish Marshall. Go attacking. Wow, opponent takes it down to 10. Okay, I mean, we get another history of Benalia next turn. Tap land. Well, for being stuck on three lands and not being able to play multiple things in a turn, that went pretty well, and our opponent scoops it up, up to 2-0. Oh. Even with a bad hand, this deck can be pretty crazy. Whew, Mono White Angels! Well, that was like the Mono White Knight draw of Mono White Angels, but we'll take it, we'll take it. On to round number three! See if we can keep the good times rolling with Mono White Angels. We are on the play, and all right, we'll keep this. Planes, go. Well, planes, go. All right, opponent's probably playing, ooh, zombies? This should be interesting. How do angels line up with zombies? That is the question. Oh, they, oh, it's constructs, okay. Well, planes and let's start with history of Benalia. Pass the turn. Well, last time we won without drawing land, so maybe we can do that again. Heart of Kieran's annoying. All right, there's a land, make a knight, play the planes. Play Benelish Marshall. Go attacking. And pass the turn. All right, Inventor's Fair. And Scrappy. So that's a crew member for... Uh, so our opponent can crew Heart of Kirin, but they're not in a... Wow. Going aggro. That's a bit surprising. In the face of what is an extremely fast clock and only one blocker. Who planes is sweet. All right. So history ultimates, we play a planes, we play Knight of Grace, we play Benelish Marshall, we attack with everything, force the chump block with Metallic Mimic, and I mean, we're not angeling, but the Knight plan is, uh, is going pretty far. Wow, opponent's going to block with Heart of Kieran as well? Double blocks of Benelish Marshall, well, we will kill both. Yep. Well, that kind of works out. Our opponent's Scrap Heap Scrounger's not that great, even as 4-3s with this Knight of Grace out. Plus, we have a Lyra and a Seal Away, and these can't block. So, I think we just win next turn? Opponent. All right. Fatal pushes a Knight. Sure. And...
end. All right, another heart of Kieran. Opponent passes. Well, play scavenger grounds. I guess we, uh, we're gonna attack. If our opponent has another fatal push, this could go somewhat wrong. All right, opponent does have another fatal push, so this does go somewhat wrong. Yeah, opponent crews, blocks. Yeah, opponent drops to two. Well, Lyra Dawnbringer passed the turn. So our opponent still needs an answer to Lyra. That went about as well as it could for our opponent. Chief of the Foundry. And opponent gave us the GG. Scoops it up. On to 3 and 0. Oh, Constructs. We are uh, taking down Constructs. Angels has so much power. So much power. You get fast night starts. And then eventually Angels come down to... Uh, to seal the deal. Bishop of the Bloodstain. All right, shirt. Shirt, shirt, shirt. On to round four with Mono White Angels, which has looked more like Mono White Knights lately, but that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We've still been winning, and uh, the night plan has been pretty good. Loud noises. All right. Opponents on the play. Let's see what our hand looks like against Tezzeret over there. Hello, 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 hello. That still cracks me up. Give me more give me more options oh boy this is a slow hand on the draw uh i think we gotta ship it okay this is actually significantly better we have a realistic curve we'll keep the land to get to our carns all right mountain bonded courier opponent hits us well planes go we'll see Mono red on the on the draw is a is a tough matchup sometimes, especially with two bombette couriers to refill our opponent's hand. Hits us, hits us. Well, play Knight of Grace. Hope for no shocks. No shock. No shock. No shock, please. Please, no shock. All right, no shock. Now we hope for no lightning strike or on crop crasher. Blanks. All hazards. It's an on crop crasher. Attacks, exerts, attacks, attacks. Yep. Well, we take five. The bigger concern is our opponent's getting a lot of cards under Momat Couriers. Good news is we play a Plains and play Benelish Marshal. No attacks. Staying on D. Gotta block these annoying red creatures. Mountain. Uh, this Shalai could be a big deal. Bane fire, okay. No attacks. Well, play the planes, play Shalai. No attacks. Another on crop crasher. Uh, opponent's gonna draw so many cards. All right. More cards, more cards. Well, block the unexerted on crop crasher. Take some damage. Soul Scar Mage. More lands. Oh, play card. Tick up card. This might be too slow. Uh, those are good cards, but I think they're too slow. The bomb at courier is the big issue. All right, we get seal away. Play the planes. Pass the turn. Soul Scar Mage makes burn spells more annoying. All right, Earthshaker Kenra, just an attacker. Can't target Knight. Shalai's too big. Opponent attacks. All right, well, I mean, we're, we got a block. Make our opponent sack. Opponent gets a new handful of cards. Oh, man. Turn one Bomat is so much value. Land for our opponent. Ooh. All right, play Chef at Dudes. Actually, what are we doing with Karn? All right, I think what we do, all right, we we seal away on Crop Crasher. We take down Karn for a Construct, just to have another blocker. And then we pass the turn, no attacks. All right, what do you got, opponent? There's the land. Goblin Chain Whirler. Uh, okay. Now we can lose Shalai to a lightning strike. Soul Scar Mage. 
No attacks. Okay. Well, that's better than it could have been. Well, let's cast out. Get rid of a chain whirler. Draw a land. Well, I think we have to take down Karn. Get Resplendent Angel. Play Resplendent Angel. Play Chef at Dooms. With the animation running. Big upgrade from Magic Arena. Pass the turn and see if we remain. If we untap with this board and Resplendent Angel, that's a way we can steal this game. Chain Whirler. It is obnoxious. Also, Hazret. Obnoxious. Attacks. 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 Oh, that Chain Whirler damage means we can't even... Ugh. Yeah, we are in very bad shape. So we need to chump and block and take three. We draw Lyra. Take up card. We got to get lucky. We got to get lucky. Land treasure map is not lucky. Play a planes. Play Lyra. Ugh. Man, we were so close. Get in for three. But now we have to chump block. Oh, so close. So, so close. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe we were supposed to just tick down Karn. Although, Earthshaker Kenra makes it so it can't block anyway. I believe we're just straight up dead. Yeah, Earthshaker. We go up to 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we're, we're dead. We're dead. A oh, little too slow. little too slow. Ah, uh, well, loss number one. That's good. We still got we still got two more to live. Hopefully, if we play Mono Red again, we win the die roll. Because I think that matchup goes way better if we're on the play. All right. Ooh, Gideon, eh? Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I'm going to do that every match. All right, we'll keep this. We'll keep it. We got a knight into Treasure Map Scry into Karn. Not an insane hand, but it's it's a reasonable hand. Unfortunately, we're on the draw again. Oh, good. Well, fortunately, we drew a Lyra. And Lyra is very strong against red decks. Ponent. All right. Definitely looks like mono red of some kind. Ponent. Pass. What is their hand? I guess they mulligan ones, but play Knight of Grace, pass the turn. Maybe they just have the all burn spell hand. Pass the turn. Yep. It appears to be burn spells and big stuff. Hazrets and the like. Chain Whirler. Pings us. Yep. We'll play the planes. Play treasure map. Pass the turn. Well, hopefully Shalai into Lyra is good enough. Lightning Strike. All right. Opponent pretty clearly has Hazret in hand and is trying to get empty handed. Yep. Resolves. Down to 14. Attacks us. Down to 11. Well, let's scry with treasure map. Benelish Marshall to the bottom. Opponent hits us. Down to 11. Well, Chef of Dunes, Shali, Shalai. So now we're looking at just like Lyra start gaining life. Chain Whirler. Sure. This means we can't block, but we're going to see the, the hidden mode on Lyra, the angel lifelink mode, be very, very good. Opponent hits us down to seven. Well, we play a planes. We play a Lyra Dawnbringer. Get in with Shalai. Gain four back to 11, and Jade Whirler's good, but angels, slightly better. Slightly better. I mean, all we need is one attack, and the game's over, basically. Gaining nine. I don't know how the red deck ever comes back from that. Angels? Proving their worth. Opponent goes attacking. Yeah, I mean, we're blocking. I don't know what surprise cards our opponent might have. All right. That seems like a not ideal attack. Especially since Shly is giving Lyra Hexproof. All right. Flame of Keld. Yeah, let's just draw. So... Go to our main phase. Play the planes. Everyone attack. Gain a bunch of life. Play Karn. Take up. 
Ooh. Well, we're getting the plades, but... Whoa! Well, I guess we can't cast it yet, so we'll play Knight of Grays. Resplendent Angel to join our Angel Tron. Pony gets to draw some cards, but we're at 22. This one feels a bit over to me. Lyra is so insanely good. Fanatical Firebrand. Not a bad aggro card, but it's too late. Lyra just taking it down. Yep, fire off those cards. Get your quests. Opponent. Passing. Well, Benelish Marshall. Might as well just run out our cards. Arena is weird. Stuff that would feel like Rubbins on Magic Online is actually just beneficial because you have like cast so many white cards so well that was how we imagine life going against mono red just absolute domination our rank did not gain any which is sad Ooh, and we get a booster let's claim our booster prize let's open something sweet let's open something sweet rex age not bad Patient rebuilding. I think we will probably play a car a deck around that at some point. I don't know where it'll be. Arena, Moto, Budget Magic, but we'll play it. Well, on to the next round. Up to four and one. All right. Opponents on the play. Yeah, all right, we got angels. Well, planes go. Looks like our opponent's on the control plan, probably. Meandering around over there with their counter spells. Charter cores. Oh, maybe it's a maybe it's a gift stack. It is a gift stack. Well, we will see how this goes. Planes go. Ether hub. And there's champion. Well, we really just want to draw lands. That's our, our big one. There's a chance our opponent oh, another angel of invention. No gifts yet. There's a land. So play the planes. Play History of Benalia. Pass the turn. Strategic planning. We gotta get to our big angels before our opponent gets a gifts. All right, no no gifts in the graveyard yet. Plays a land. Or draw a cast out. Cast out would be spectacular. No gifts in the graveyard yet. Opponent passes. We get a knight. Well, play the planes. Play Karn. Take up card. Who scavenger grounds? Scavenger grounds. Oh, that is. Oh, they give it to us too. Okay. Uh, no attacks. All right, opponent. You better do something quick because we are about to play scavenger grounds. We are about to play scavenger grounds. They don't have a god pharaoh's gift. They don't have a god pharaoh's gift. That is big deal. They don't have enough mana to do it. They need. They need two mana plus four for refurbish. All right, minister. Yes. But if we just leave up this scavenger grounds forever, it should be difficult for our opponent to win. Gonna eternalize, okay. Yup, 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 yup. That's fine. Discards the God Pharaoh's gift. Attacks Karn. Uh, we'll take it. I Down do to four. So we ultimate history. We take up Karn. Land or land. That's fine, we do wanna hit our lands. Play scavenger ground. Attack, attack. Opponent blocks, yup. And, yeah, we got to pass. We got to leave up scavenger grounds from now until eternity, essentially. Another minister, yep. Get some energy. Search for Eskanda. Yeah, that's annoying. That is going to flip quickly. All right, let's seal away champion. Opponent passes. We draw a treasure map. Well, play a planes. Actually, let's take up Karn first. Take up Karn. Planes, planes. Play Resplendent Angel. Go attacking. Opponent blocks, blocks, sure. So we lose our knight, we kill a minister, that's fine. And yeah, pass the turn. We still gotta leave up scavenger grounds. We would like to find a Shefit Dunes. Opponent does get to flip their search, which is semi-annoying. Not the end of the world, though. All right. So, sacrifice, scavenger grounds. Minister of Inquiry. Opponent passes. Well, take up card. Couple of Knights of Grace. 
play a planes. I think we just play Benelish Marshall. Play Benelish Marshall. Get in with Resplendent Angel. Opponent Mills. Another refurbish. That's good. They're not in great shape at the moment. Chart, of course. Discards. God Pharaoh's Gift. All right. No creatures in the graveyard, though. Although they can do a lot of milling. Champion of Wits. So we're, we're not getting hit by it this turn. Next turn, perhaps, if they can find Refurbish. But we might already be too far ahead by then. All right, opponent plays a land. We have nothing good exiled with Karn. Shalai and Plains. All right, so take up Karn. Chef at Dunes, Plains. Well, play a Plains. Play Lyra. Play Knight of Grace. Get in with Resplendent Angel. Now has Lifelink. Which means we get to start making massive angels. Are these seven sevens? Oh my god. Seven seven flag vigilance life wake. The power of angels. Uh, okay. Escanta. Fine strategic planning. And now I think even if our opponent refurbishes, I don't think it matters. Like Lyra just our board trumps Angel of Inventions with haste. It just does not matter. Strategic planning. And I think this is gonna be another win. And opponent scoops it up. Up to five wins? We're kind of just rolling along with uh with this angel deck. Your per guide. Sure. Five wins, one loss. We gotta win. We gotta win two more. We gotta win two more. Two more for the seven wins. Ah, uh, okay. That hand's fine. Opponent scries to the bottom on their mulligan. Well, land go. So we have knight into treasure map. Just kidding. Knight into History of Benalia? That's even better. Well, we might just be on the Knight Beatdown plan. Wing Shell Fortress. I'll play a Plains. Go attacking. History of Benalia. Do you have a counter? No counter. All right, here comes the Knights. Yup. Opponent, seal away. Cycles Farmland. That's fine. I mean, we're just going, we're going aggro. Another island. Oh, it's gifts again. Always with the gifts. Opponent passes. Ugh, Karn is sweet. I do like Karn. And we even have scavenger, uh, scavenger grounds in hand. Go attacking. Uh... All right, we're gonna play Karn. There is some risk in this line. If our opponent like mills God Pharaoh's Gift Angel, has a land and a refurbish, things could go poorly. But if we can get this Karn down and then start leaving up Scavenger Grounds, our odds of winning go way up. So take up Karn. So not the most conservative line, but Karn wants to begin. So who are we to say no to Karn? Angel, Angel. Angel of Sanctions is pretty sweet. That minimizes the damage of a potential God Pharaoh's Gift. All right, pass the turn. Let's see how insane our opponent's hand is. The other problem for our opponent is they are under a lot of pressure. Opponent just passes. Okay. Well, History of Benalia, Ultimates. We attack with everything. Opponent doesn't have Settle Mana. Opponent blocks. Yep, mills themselves. All right, hits a champion, but that's a ways off. Takes their bead. So now we take up Karn. Chef at Dunes and Plains. And now we're going to play it a bit slow. Play Treasure Map. Play Scavenger Grounds past the turn. Scavenger Grounds just makes triply sure that nothing's going to go horribly wrong. Opponent cycles, yep. And cycles? Cycle cycles. Yeah, opponent's hand was not very good. And opponent needs something to not just be dead. I guess they could play an Angel of Invention. All right, looks like Hardcast Angel. Yep, resolves. They gotta make servos or they lose to Angel of Sanctions. Well, scry with treasure map. Planes to the bottom. 
Uh, draw planes anyway. What do we have with Karn? Shalai and planes. Well, take up Karn. Knight and planes. Play chef at dunes. And we're going to remain conservative. Attack with everything. We could Angel of Sanctions, Angel of Invention, and try to be more aggressive, but I feel like this line is fairly safe. Opponent blocks, opponent blocks. Takes two. Servos and Knights trade. Play a Knight. And pass the turn. So now we get to flip treasure map next upkeep, too, if we want to. And the Chef of Dunes is big, because Chef of Dunes lets us keep the scavenger grounds and still exile graveyards. Charter cores. Opponent draws. Discards farmland. Er, discards refurbish, I see. Yep. Champion of Wits. Sure. Draws. Maybe we just exile graveyards now? Refurbish. Sunskirt champion. Alright, plays a land. Gets in it, Karn. Yep. Well, scry with treasure map. Um, dunes to the bottom. I don't think we need that many deserts to sack. Yep. So Karn down to six. Opponent gains a bit of life. <laughs> Karn displeased. Well, upkeep treasure map scry flip um yeah resplendent angel's fine so draw resplendent angel go to our main phase now i think we start taking down karn yeah make start making big constructs go attacking opponent takes it down to two yep so now we play the planes Play Resplendent Angel. And we're just going to pass. I don't think we need to do anything crazy. Like, if our opponent can't get a God Pharaoh's Gift online, I'm pretty sure our deck just beats our opponent's deck. So, even if they're, like, getting back Champion of to draw cards, I don't think that's that's a way that they can win. Sunscourge Champion. Yep, gain some life. Five life, up to seven. Strategic planning. Mills, nothing too important. All right, opponent passes. We draw planes. Huh. Well, let's... Angel of Sanctions. Get rid of the big token. Take down Karn. Play a planes. And opponent scoops it up. Scoops it up. Taking down God Pharaoh's gift. Scavenger grounds. Pretty key, pretty key for our victory there. And we're up to six wins. One more. We need one more to lock in the seven wins. Max prizes. One more win. One more win. With Mono White Angels. I think we can do it. Um... All right, we'll try this. A little worried that we get run over against aggro, but we'll see. Planes, go. Uh, Spire Bluff. Well, planes and treasure map. Resolves. Not sure what our opponent's playing, honestly. Oh man, missing, missing a drop. Well, I guess this treasure map's gonna do nothing for a bit, cause we're gonna try to curve out. History Banalia. I think getting on board, especially with our opponent missing a land wrap, gotta be better than like scry, seal away. As tempting as it is to scry and try to flip this treasure map to draw cards. Alright, history down. Make a knight. Pass the turn. Alright. Yeah. Knight. Lightninged. It's always pretty fine for the most part when opponent's spending a card to kill half of a knight token. So this has got to be like a Nicole Bolas Grixis deck. So we get a knight, play a planes, play Karn. All right, resolve. So take up Karn, start drawing some extra cards. Ooh, action, action. So we're probably going to get Knight of Grace, I assume. And now we're eventually going to get to start scrying with treasure map. 
Wow, history. Huh. That's surprising. That seems like definitely the better of the two cards. So, thanks, opponent, I guess. Lightning Strike. Well, History of Benali has done its job. Opponent spent two removal spells to deal with it. And that is still a win. And we got a Karn. Opponent siphons. Sure. Well, History does nothing. Take up Karn. Karn, more treasure maps. Kind of actually Karn flooding here. Yeah, we get the Karn. Well, I guess we just Shalai. Pass the turn. Opponent can draw a card. They do. Trying to hit those land drops. All right, Ether Hub gets some energy. Shalai is protecting Karn from a from a removal spell too. They can't just like Veraska's Contempt our Karn. All right, so Veraska's Contempt takes down Shalai. Sure. Phone it. Probably gonna attack Karn, I assume. Hits Karn, gets some energy. Well, scry with treasure map. We don't really need a planes. Karn down to seven. Well, take up Karn. Land or Benelish Marsh. I feel like we're just, we haven't done anything crazy, but we're kind of just outdrawing our opponent. So let's seal away. So our opponent can't keep drawing cards. History of Benalia. And pass the turn. Wild animation is going. It's such a huge upgrade to be able to do stuff. It makes me so happy. Uh, Magic Arena, I tweeted about this, but their upgrades in the last patch are really big. No longer accidentally skipping my turn. Also, playing stuff when animation's going, it makes the game so much smoother, so... Good job on both of those things, Magic Arena. Definitely, definitely helps. A ton. Opponent. Alright. Nicobolas. Yeah, resolves. Well, I guess we just discard one of our infinite Karns. Scry with Treasure Map. Knight of Grace to the bottom. We really just want, like, an angel. We're gonna stop upkeep. Yeah. Scry with Treasure Map. Eh, cast out's fine. We'll keep treasure. We'll keep cast out. We'll flip. And now I think we might actually start taking down Karn. Let's, cause it's gonna make big tokens now. So draw a cast out. Go to our main phase. Make a knight. Cast out Bolus. Take down Karn. Play a land. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth it. Play Benelish Marshall. Go attacking, and our opponent's pretty far behind the eight ball. Pretty far behind, because his history is going ultimate, which means knights are going to be huge. And opponent scoops it up. Mono white knights. Uh, <laughs> actually, angels, but knights that game. It's like half and half. Half of the time, we're mono white angels winning with our huge flyers. The other half, we are... Uh, <laughs> start your engines, all right. We are winning with our, our knights, but... 7-1, 7-1 through our quick constructed, which means we get the big old pile of gold. Max Max wins. Let's see what cards we get. That's a big thing. Ooh, double mythic. Double mythic. So, number one, Terminus Garabs. All right, whatever. Number two, mythic. Oh, really hoping for M19 mythics. A catcher of the true. Okay, Vivictus, Vivictus is one of my sleeper Elder Dragons. Vivictus is, it's better than it looks. I actually think it's pretty sweet. So not bad, don't mind adding it to the collection. At least it's an M19 card, because that's what we mostly need. So, well, we'll talk about it in the wrap up, but Mono White Knights, kind or Mono White Angels, kind of killing it, kind of killing it, kind of killing it. Sweet. So what did we learn this week about Mono White Angels? in standard and 
the deck was great. Like, we ended up seven wins, one loss in our Quick Constructed, and we just kind of smashed people. The deck just has so many really strong cards. Resplendent Angel is definitely insane. Shalai and Lyra work so well with it. We got a surprising number of really quick night wins. I was very impressed by how in a lot of games, we were able to just, like, play Knight of Grace, play History of Benalia, play Benelish Marshall, and essentially just those three cards would win the game on its own and having the cards at treasure maps to grind out in the late game very very important and very powerful so overall i feel like this deck is pretty good and pretty legit but i don't want to focus too much on that because i got to give a shout out i mentioned some of it throughout the video but i got to give a shout out to magic arena because we've been doing this series for a while now and there are definitely some complaints about things uh, accidentally skipping our turn for example not ideal uh not being able to to see where our opponent scries also not ideal sometimes the animation slowing the game down and with the latest update they really improved a lot of those things like playing things during animations super awesome huge improvement not skipping your turn and actually stopping on the end of turn step huge improvement you can see where people scry now so as far as just magic arena itself big step forward so not only was our deck great and really powerful and i think this deck could actually have a pretty reasonable shot to compete in standard also worth pointing out i think the only cards that rotate out of this entire deck are uh some of the lands and two cast outs which we have ixalan's binding is an easy replacement so if you're looking ahead to like post rotation yes it's not a cheap deck it's gonna cost you a lot of wild cards if you don't have the cards already but knight of grace benelish marshall all the angels seal away settle the records treasure maps cards history banalias the deck just survives rotation like you lose some chef at dunes you lose some treasure maps so even though it is expensive ish for a standard deck uh you are kind of protecting yourself for rotation and you're gonna be able to play this deck for the next uh year until the following rotation more than a year so even though it is expensive up front the fact that it is essentially just gonna survive rotation intact and it has so many cards that are just so powerful that it's really hard for me to imagine that they are not gonna be played like karn lyra shalai resplendent angel even benelish marshall knight of gray seal away basically the deck has just a lot of staple Card. So even let's say things go weird at rotation. We get this multicolor Guilds of Ravnica set. Mono White Angels just isn't really that good anymore. Uh, I think you're still going to find room for Karns. It's still going to be a staple. History of Benalia, Lyra the same way. Resplendent Angel likely in that category as well. Benelish Marshall. So you're spending your money in a way where it's safe for rotation and it's safe even if Mono White Angels falls out of rotation because the cards that are good in this deck, they're going to be good in some deck because they're just really strong power powerful magic cards so i don't know it was a good one the deck was good it's good not just for now but for the next year magic arena huge step forward so it was it was sweet the deck was sweet arena sweet uh, it was just a good episode all around at least in my opinion anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.